Have you ever felt the weight of emotions clouding your judgment, making it hard to see the path ahead? I know I have. It's in these moments that Stoicism shines as a guiding light. As Seneca wisely said, retire into yourself as much as you can. But what does that really mean in our bustling lives? How can detaching from people and situations lead us to a space of clarity and tranquility? These questions form the core of our exploration today. Now, imagine a bustling city where everything is chaotic. Stoicism suggests that in the midst of life's storms, taking a step back is not about running away, but hitting the pause button to find a quiet space within the chaos. This concept resonates deeply with me, and I'm excited to share the practical steps with you. So grab a metaphorical seat in our digital philosophy circle, and let's delve into the profound teachings of Stoicism. Step 1. Step away for a while. We're not talking about running away or avoiding things forever. It's more like pressing pause, a strategic move to gain perspective. The Stoic philosophers believed that stepping away is crucial for understanding oneself better. It's like taking a step back to get a clearer view, a bit like a timeout in a game. You don't leave the game forever. You just step away for a moment to clear your head. Why? Well, emotions can be a bit like a storm in your head, clouding your judgment. By taking a little break, you let the storm pass, making it easier to figure out what to do next. It's not about running away, it's about creating a moment of peace to figure things out. So, find a quiet place or a quiet time, take a short walk, sit in a park, or just chill alone in your room. Create that space for yourself to think without distractions. And remember, it's all about making choices that are good for your heart and your head. Step 2. Evaluate the relationship. In the Stoic world, this step is like playing relationship detective, not to catch someone in the act, but to figure out if this connection is lifting you up or bringing you down. Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of our associations, and that's what we're going to do. Think about it this way. You're surrounded by a squad of friends, and one of them starts acting a bit off. Stoicism suggests we should ponder whether keeping this person in our close circle is helping us grow or making life a tad tougher. Let's put it in simpler terms. If your pals are like sunshine, radiating positivity and helping you become a better version of yourself, that's fantastic. But if someone is more like a storm, creating chaos and clouding your judgment, stoicism whispers that it might be wise to re-evaluate. So, take a moment, reflect on your connections and decide if it's time for a little space to ensure you're surrounded by the sunshine that fuels your growth. Step 3. Engage in honest communication. Think of it like this. In the world of Stoicism, having a philosophical friend is like having a secret weapon. Find someone you trust, someone who embodies wisdom and virtue, your philosophical confidant. It could be a friend, a family member, or even a teacher. Imagine them as your wise game buddy, ready to share insights and perspectives. When life throws challenges your way, don't face them solo. Stoicism encourages you to open up, to share your thoughts and feelings. Remember, it's not about burdening them, it's about sharing the load. Just like a good game buddy, they might offer perspectives you haven't considered. So, grab a coffee, find a cozy spot, and have that chat. Stoicism teaches us that facing challenges with a friend by your side can make the journey a lot less bumpy. Share your struggles, gain insights and foster connections because in the game of life, a trustworthy teammate can make all the difference. Step 4. Establish limits for your feelings. We're not talking about going all stone-faced and unfeeling here. No way. Stoicism 
teaches us to recognize and acknowledge our emotions, but with a twist of control. Picture your feelings as these vibrant blocks that stack up. Sometimes they build a tower that's a bit wobbly. Stoicism says, hey, it's cool to feel those emotions, but let's not let them tower over everything, making life shaky. It's like deciding how high your tower of feelings can go. So imagine you're the architect of your emotional tower and you get to set the rules. Think of it as balancing a tower, tall enough to be interesting, but not so tall that it topples over. The Stoic philosophers were big on this idea of balance, comparing it to a sturdy tower that could withstand the challenges of the emotional game. In simpler terms, when life throws those colorful emotion blocks at you, it's okay to let them stack up, but set some rules for how high they can go. By doing this, you're taking charge of your emotional game, ensuring it doesn't get overwhelmed with too many puzzle pieces. Step five, consider potential consequences. Think of it as navigating a forest trail. Every step has an impact, right? So, you're standing at the entrance, contemplating whether to follow the same path or venture into uncharted territory. Stoicism urges us to be like thoughtful explorers, imagining what might happen if we decide to distance ourselves. It's not about predicting the future, but more about being a strategic trailblazer. Let's break it down. Stoicism proposes asking yourself, if I step away from this person, what might happen? It's like choosing which trail to blaze, considering where each one might lead. Life is this intricate buffet, and your choices are the snacks you pick. Stoicism whispers, Think about what you truly need for your emotional well-being and growth. It's all about selecting the things that fill you up in the long run. Remember, it's not about fortune telling, but about being a mindful explorer in the forest of life. So, before you decide to distance yourself, take a moment to imagine the possible outcomes and pick the trail that aligns with your journey. Step six, give your mind a digital break. Now, let's talk about taking a breather from the ever-scrolling world of social media. Imagine our modern lives are often filled with constant updates, pictures, and news buzzing on our screens. Stoicism suggests that just like a puzzle that's gotten a bit too complex, it's okay to put down the digital pieces for a while. Think of social media as a puzzle. It's fun, it's engaging, but sometimes it can be a bit much. Stoic philosophers faced their distractions too, albeit in different forms. Seneca, in his essay on the shortness of life, lamented the distractions that hinder a life well lived. Fast forward to today, and the constant stream of updates on social media can be our version of those distractions. So, here's a thought. Give your mind a break. Just like our bodies need rest, our minds need it too. Put the puzzle away for a bit, go for a walk, read a book, or simply enjoy some screen-free moments. By giving your brain this break, you're not quitting social media forever. You're just taking control of your digital time. A bit like deciding when to play with a puzzle and when to take a break from it. Remember, it's not about avoiding the digital world, but ensuring it doesn't become an overwhelming puzzle. Stoicism guides us to make these mindful choices keeping our minds clear and focused in the process. Step seven, focus on what you need. Imagine life as a buffet with all sorts of things on the table, some good, some not so good. Stoicism suggests that when you're deciding what to put on your plate, it's smart to zero in on what you truly need. It's like choosing your snacks wisely. Not just what tastes yummy at the moment, but what's genuinely good for your heart and head. Our needs aren't always the same as our wants. So it's like picking the snacks that make you feel good in the long run, not just the ones that are tasty for a moment. Think about what you truly need for your emotional well-being and growth. It's akin to selecting snacks that fill you up and make you happy, not just for the moment, but in the grand scheme of things. 
Stoicism teaches us that by focusing on what we really need, we're making our life buffet a lot more satisfying in the long run. So, in this journey of detaching from people and situations, consider what truly nourishes your emotional stability and moral integrity. It's about making choices that lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life. In the tapestry of life, mastering the art of detachment through Stoic principles unveils a path to inner tranquility and resilience. Remember, taking a step back doesn't mean running away. It's pressing pause to find your quiet space in life's noise. Stoicism teaches us that our feelings are like the weather. They come and go. By stepping away, you give yourself a chance to let the storm in your head settle down, making it easier to navigate what comes next. As we round off this insightful journey, don't forget to hit like if these stoic nuggets resonate with you. Share these timeless insights with friends who might find them valuable, and subscribe for more exclusive wisdom on mastering life's challenges. As always, stay stoic, stay focused, and until next time.